this building was a former library of Amsterdam, and therefore a lot of elements come from the book, from the historical place. The canals are here, and the canals are there. Uh, so we sit between those canals. Uh, the old center of the Golden Age is built in the Golden Age. In Amsterdam, you get in, and you get to this little corridor where the, where the doors are just made for almost midgets. It's a very intimate place, and you really have a completely opposite entry than you would normally have in a Grand Hotel. These lamps and reflective mirrors is a representation of a bit of a star and constellations that, that navigators in the Golden Age used to, to, to follow. You are the place when you get the bell, so it's a beautiful symbol we use in different ways. In important moments, important situation when the bell rings, people would convey and would gather to where the bell was ringing. We have one space that's completely filled with delft loof through the ages. There's 400 years of delft loof in that room. You'll see a wonderful, iconic portrait of a spoon and a fish. It's two images of two objects placed together and stitched with the, with the symbol of Hampson, which are the three X's. Combining the uncombinable. Uh, Amsterdam is a very open-minded city. Which is a city which combines polarity and brings differences together. In all these cities, we try to find the local feeling to make sure that you know, people arrive to that place and they arrive in the place that they wanted to go to. This generation is ready for something that I call creative luxury, something that speaks to me. I mean, it will, it will have to show who I am, what I like to spend my days and my, my heart on, uh, who are my friends and who will I be. If creative luxury can answer those questions, I think it can be meaningful to people.